I'm gonna show you a fun little technique that I learned. Um, this was popularized by a Japanese ocarinist named Milt. Um, this is a technique that lets you play higher notes on a Alto C 12 hole ocarina. Let me just grab the one that it works best with me on. So this is a technique that kind of makes a second ocarina on your Alto C ocarina. Um, first, I'll go over the basics of the technique. So on an Alto C ocarina, um, I'm just gonna keep reverb off for this, just just for, uh, for, for uh, ease of editing. So on an Alto C ocarina, but the, the range is typically from uh, C to, well, from low A to high F. So. That's the typical top of the range. And you can't go higher than that, not by traditional means, at least. So um, what if I told you there was a way to hit the G above the F on the Alto C Ocarina? And, in, and this technique will vary by instrument, but the fundamental form is the same. So let me let me just show you hitting the high G on the Alto C Ocarina. So yeah, you can't normally do that. So what I do right here is um, I hold the Ocarina. So you see the top of the Ocarina right here. You put both thumbs over that you make a seal on the back and then you and you just kind of fudge around until you have a consistent form for um hitting the higher notes um i don't know how this works physics wise i think what you're doing is you're making like an additional resonance chamber and by blowing in the air is after it comes out of the ocarina goes in to uh your hand and re-resonates um I don't know how the physics works, don't take my explanation, but uh, this was popularized by a Japanese ocarina player named Milt, and uh, my friend uh, Yoko, um, Yoko Rainier Ocarina, she taught me how to do it a few years ago. Um, so with this technique, depending on the ocarina, um, you can kind of fudge it to be even higher. So you can go... So while I don't have consistent placement for anything other than the G, and the C above that G, um, for particular songs, it becomes really helpful and really useful being able to hit um, those notes above it. So with the example of uh, Zelda's Lullaby, let me just play that song on, an, on a 12 full ocarina without any restrictions on range. So let's go. So that is actually a very uh, exceptionally useful technique, uh, especially if you're like traveling and only have like one ocarina with you. Um, both, uh, all three of the times I've been to Japan, I only brought my uh, 12 hole Knight by Noble with me. And using that technique, I have consistent uh, G and the A, up, like G above the F and the A above that, as well as sometimes the high C. Um, this is um, Songbird or focal link uh, cer ceramic rose ocarina that one i have the most consistent high c with but um like i'm saying a lot of songs are just outside the range of the ocarina and using that technique you theoretically can play a song that would have previously required a double and play it totally perfectly on an alto so a uh, big thank you to uh milt I, I believe milt discovered that technique and if he didn't he's the certainly one who brought it to my attention and thank you to yoko for teaching me that technique um i might make this into a whole ass youtube video <laughs> so uh if you enjoyed learning this technique be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more <laughs> just uh gotta fit the youtube outro in there somewhere you know <laughs>